praise. Now, uh, the basic analysis that the Black Panther Party has made is making an analogy between uh, the way that the occupying army functions in a purely colonial situation, uh, where uh, the mother country is separated from the colony by either land or water. Now, it was uh, very difficult at first to apply uh, this colonial analogy to this domestic colonial situation because the lines of conflict, uh, uh, the identity of the various elements of the colonial regime were not too clear. Uh, the names were different. Uh, we had been taught to conceive of uh, the various uh, uh, branches of the apparatus in different terms, so it wasn't too clear. But uh, when Huey Newton uh, studied uh, the works of Frantz Fanon, see, after having studied the works of uh, Marx, Lenin, and Mao, and other revolutionaries, uh, it was not until studying the works of Frantz Fanon and studying the Algerian situation uh, that he was able to uh, clearly identify of the local police departments as the counterpart to the occupying army of the French. And uh, it was clear from analyzing the experience in Algeria that the colonial uh, regime, the colonial administration, uh, was without any power, without any force to compel the Algerian people to submit to his dictates. But uh, it was because these administrators were backed up by the organized guns and the force of the French army that the administrators were able to get away with what they're doing. So that uh, in transposing that perspective to our own situation here in the black community, uh, we see that the black community has also been turned into a market that has also been turned uh, into a source of uh, cheap labor. Uh, and that. Uh, it has the same three elements. It has an indigenous uh, class, uh, the black bourgeoisie, that works hand in hand with uh, uh, the imperialists that we have to deal with. And we cannot just deal with uh, the same terminology that they use, say, to describe the situation in Algeria. We have to talk about uh, community imperialism or ethnic imperialism. Uh, whereby uh, those in the white community exercise a form of imperialism and imperialistic control over the black community. That we have uh, the three classes uh, of evil, we, we call them, uh, the avaricious businessmen, uh, the demagogic politicians, and the strong-arm trooper, the, the Gestapo, the local police. And they work hand in hand uh, with the black bourgeoisie, uh, the doctors, the lawyers, the teachers, professional people uh, who belong to the political parties uh, of the mother country and who uh, carry out the political programs of uh, these mother country uh, parties in the colony. Before working here, you were working 